去学校。沈阳啊，历代那个林清考啊，什么呀？我现在心里面定位，我也没有。在家里面，是这个位置。那什么意思？庙呢是在汉这个汉高祖。至于说这两个东西到底不好。大家，大家都盯着看，这个 website 是不是很清楚？时时期和时代是不是？我非常感谢能把这个最新的考。Well, I think、uh, it really epitomizes the Western Han art and culture, especially in the first century BC. And increasingly, we feel Western Han is highly relevant to our. Time mainly because we are so interested in how life can be continued beyond biological stage, and we also wonder what life would be like as a process that beyond the human uh, bodily uh, succession. So this sort of question has been raised and explored in uh, with great care in. Western Han times and Hai Hong Ho really epitomized the quest for immortality.、Um, they were also interested in how that kind of search can be appropriated into their concern with some earthly, worldly、uh, concerns, such as、um, how Confucius could be appropriating different kind of. Contexts and systems, and all these are new questions and new materials and new sorts of information that we are just beginning to understand. And Hai Hong Ho certainly challenge our common understanding, and we very much look forward towards、uh, the publication of the Hai Hong Ho reports so that we can、uh, study those material closely and then have entirely new. 啊，应赛。海虹头呢的墓的发掘和它的出土的这些资料呢，就像一把尺子啊。我们拿着这个尺子，我们可以丈量西汉列侯陵墓制度的这个深度和长度。我们拿着这把尺子，我们可以参照研究出西汉这个。呃，整个西汉陵墓制度的这个长度和深度，我们还可以拿着这把尺子，最后参照研究出西汉文明这个大厦的长度、宽度和高度。It reveals to us the evolution of Chinese ideas about the afterlife. It also reveals a great deal about their life、uh, at that time, not only regionally but in terms of China.、Uh, As a whole, 这个海昏侯墓让我们能看到汉室的精彩。它实际上是社会大众了解汉室的一个非常高级的窗口，同时也是学人的盛宴。里面有好多让我们眼前为之一亮，能够改变我们这个学术观点的。Um, I think it values that it opens a lot of questions、um, more than it, it currently answers.、Uh, I think I'm very interested in the process that went into making the tomb. So I would like to know more about the craftsmen. I'm very interested in the design,、um, the initiative, and the funds that went into the sort of tomb assemblage, its structure, as well as the grave goods.、Um, and so I'm hoping to learn more about whether the tomb was a combination of, you know, sort of donations from the imperial.、Um, Factory, as well as sort of things that were in the sort of tomb occupant's possession,、um, and also you know wanting to learn more about the design of the tomb, whether it's something that you know sort of reflects an imperial template or whether it's a reflection of mortuary fashions in、um, the man's local area. It's a difficult question、um, because today was the first time that I actually saw the full report of the tomb goods, and、uh, what really attracted my attention were a couple of things related to the quest for immortality. So, for me, the image of Dong Wang Gong and then the other materials in the tomb、uh, that look like somebody、uh, putting all of these symbols、uh, inside the tomb that are related to somebody、uh, trying to live forever, and、uh, I think all of that. Makes sense for that area、uh, in terms of the pursuit for immortality and uh, uh, all the symbols that are coming from the tomb, and also、uh, things from that time period, contemporaneous other things that we find.、Uh, I think、uh, the discovery of Hai Hong Ho tomb can actually combine 
uh, archaeology, art history, and also uh, political history, intellectual history together. Now we really can the full um, scope of the Han society in these materials. Hai 汉代的高超的手工艺的发展的水平。第三个意义就是，它有完整的海丰侯国的都邑以及海丰侯的墓园以及大量的贵族和平民墓地，这就构成了一个完整的一个大遗址单元，具有重要的保护和利用价值。